Welcome to 24 Hour Sports. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And today I just want to go over my NFL playoff predictions, seeing what teams may make it in, seeing which teams may not make it in. It's going to break a lot of hearts. It's going to hurt a lot of fans. But we're really just going to do a deep dive into it. I want to look at most of the games, the major games with playoff implications. There are not too much games in Week 17 that have playoff implications, but I still want to look at them. I still want to pay attention and be following along. If you want to see a follow-up video going through sort of a playoff simulator, showing which team might match up with this team, who's going to win that game, and then going all the way to the Super Bowl, seeing who's going to win that based on now. I did a playoff, I've done a playoff predictions previously in the season, but it just, it's good to do another one because things look a lot differently. Previously, I had the Buffalo Bills winning the Super Bowl. Right now, that's not my favorite to win the Super Bowl. So that's what I mean when I say things can change, things can be different. If you want to see a film breakdown, a film study preview matchup of these teams, just let me know. Comment which team or which matchup you want a film breakdown for going into the playoffs. Just seeing everything, how your team can win, how your team could possibly lose. But without too much talking, let's get into the video. Okay, so I want to start off with the AFC first. I believe this is the more interesting, the interesting conference. It's just a lot that can happen right now. Currently at number one, we have the Buffalo Bills. This is a bit interesting to me because I don't see the Bills beating the Bengals this weekend. I think the Bengals have turned it around. It's going to be interesting to see how they replace Lyle Collins because that's a huge hit to the offensive line. Just when we thought the offensive line was getting back good, Lyle Collins, that's a huge hit. I believe he's out for the season. So I want to see how they replace that production. But other than that, Vaughn Miller, their, bad, their best pass rusher is out for the season. So that's another hit. That's going to play a huge role. But an interesting thing I want to look at is the Chiefs are currently in the number two spot. They play the Broncos. I think the Chiefs, I think they end out. See, the only thing, the reason that the Bills are number one is because they have the tiebreaker. They beat the Chiefs previously. But I think the Chiefs are currently the better team. And they'll end up in that number one spot. Baltimore Ravens. This is going to be an interesting game, too, because the Steelers still have playoff hope. I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but we still fighting. We still in that dog fight. Chargers versus Rams. Easy win for the Chargers. Jacksonville. Okay, let me talk about the Jacksonville-Tennessee matchup. Let me talk about that division. It's going to be interesting to see because is Malik Willis coming back for next week? Is Josh Dobbs? He performed pretty decent against Dallas. Is he going to play next week? What are they going to do? But I just don't think they have enough. I don't think they have enough firepower. They're probably going to get some guys back in the game against Jacksonville. But Trevor Lawrence, Travis Etienne, Zay Jones, that entire offensive, it's just firepower. And they can score with anybody, honestly, in the league. So I think they win that game. I think they win that division. We can go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and pitch with them in for a playoff spot. But the Miami Dolphins and the Patriots, this is a game we have to talk about because I'm leaning both sides. I think Teddy Bridgewater, because two is not playing this week. I don't know, even if the Dolphins win this game and make the playoffs, what's Tua's status for the rest of the season? I would go ahead and sit him down. I know he's going to have a lot of doctors evaluate him, talk to a lot of people, but I would just go ahead and sit him down. For I would sit myself out. If I'm two, I'm not even putting this in the hands of the coaching staff. If I'm two, I'm sitting myself out. Three concussions in one season. That's not, and then once you get one concussion, you're prone to getting more. So that's just not a, it's not a good situation to be in. Honestly, if I'm Tua talking about Aloha, but at the same time, I know he wants to be there with his team, especially if they win this game. Make the, I don't think nobody want to see the Patriots in the playoffs. I don't want to see Bill Belichick and Matt Jones in the playoffs, running the ball 60 times, throwing the ball 10. I don't want to see that. <laughs> if that's on TV, I'm not playing that. And I believe if they get a string of games, let's look who their possible matchups would be. So they would be penciled in at that number seven seed. I mean, they would get anybody from the... Wait, let's just go hyper scenario. The Bills, Chiefs, and Bengals. What can the Patriots possibly... Okay, the Patriots almost beat the Bengals. They almost beat the Bengals. They lost by four. Ramon J. Stevenson with a fumble. Not characteristic of him, but still, in a rematch of this game, you really think... New England going to keep up with Cincinnati. I don't see that happening. So the Jets, Jets versus Seahawks. This is an interesting game because both of them, both of them are trying to make their play. They're trying to make the playoffs with their young teams. So, and actually both will be on the outside looking in. So somebody has to win this game. 
And Mike White's coming back for the Jets. Geno and the Seahawks, they've been struggling recently. You know, Geno hasn't been as efficient as he's been to start the season. This is a guy who we were putting in the MVP race, comeback player of the year. He's probably still can win that award, if not Saquon Barkley. But I just don't see them. It's going to be hard with the Jets because you know what I think about the Lions. I, they're, that's a top five offense. And then they went in there. They made Jared Goff look like Jared Goff that we expect to see. So I don't know. That's going to be an interesting game. If I had to make a pick right now, like my foot was to the fire, I would pick the Jets to beat the Seahawks. And then that leaves room. That leaves room for the Lions to sneak in there because the Commanders play the Browns. And that's a tough game. Deshaun Watson hasn't been the guy that, the elite quarterback, but it takes time. And each week, I believe he's getting better. Washington, they're starting to come. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Whoa, I just remember that. The Washington Commanders are starting Carson Wentz over Taylor Heineke. Go ahead and pencil that in. Go ahead and pencil the Detroit Lions in the playoffs. Yes. I forgot about that. I don't have any faith in Carson Wentz. I don't care. They could be playing the Texans. Well, the Texans, they've been playing pretty decent. So, But like I said, they could be playing the worst team in the NFL. I don't have faith in Carson Wentz. So, yeah, they're going to lose that game to the Browns. The defensive line is good, though. Is Nick Chubb going to get off? Like he, like I said, wake up out of bed, he got 100 yards. But can he get off against Jonathan Allen, against those guys? That defensive line is, is vicious, so we have to be looking at that. Um, The Lions play the Bears. I think they should win that one. If, they don't, if the Lions don't do what the Lions usually do, because I had them being a contender. Early on in the season, the way they were playing. And then, you know, they just fell off. They really disappointed me. In the middle of the season, they had a losing stretch. But then, as a recent, they've gotten back on track. So, another team that can make it in, the Packers versus the Vikings. This is a game we have to look at because, do you believe in Kirk Cousins? Do you believe in Kirk Cousins? That's what it comes down to. I don't. I don't. I don't believe. No. I think the Packers, because they've been playing good as of recent, too. Something I want to look into. I want to see the status of Christian Watson. I want to look into his status because... Because I knew he was questionable. This is a very talented receiver. He's just been, you know... Unfortunately, with some injuries in his rookie season, but when he's on the field, there's no doubt on how talented he is. And my season on the line, if he can go, if he can go battling a hip injury, I'm not going to put him out there if he can't perform to the best of his ability. But if he can help us win, if he can play like the Christian Watson we're used to seeing, I'll put him in the game because we. this is a must-win game. If the Packers want to make the playoffs, but... For the Packers to actually make the playoffs, though, they'll have to, the Lions and the Seahawks and the Commanders will have to lose. Uh, do we see the Lions losing to the Bears? That's not something I see. Panthers versus Tampa Bay. You know one of these teams, unfortunately, has to make the playoffs. Division. Oh... Oh, this is a tough one. This is actually a tough one because what do you think about Tom Brady and that offense? And the Panthers run the ball really well. It's crazy that after Christian McCaffrey, they've been running the ball better. But that is, that is what it is. So, Sam Darnold, though, Sam Darnold versus Tom Brady. Oh, let me look at the injury report for this game because... Bucks versus Panthers. JC Horn. Hurt. <laughs> uh, 
officially out versus the Buccaneers. The best corner, one of the best corners in the league, one of the best corners on their team. I know that hurts you out, you know, most important game of all season. I'm going to ride with Brady. I'm not betting against Brady, especially with the season on the line. I think he can make something happen and get into the play. I believe this is his last season as a Tampa Bay buck, but I think they ultimately make the playoffs. Any other teams? The Titans? I think the Titans are done. Yeah. And that's really it. Just looking at playoff implications. And I'm going to just end this video off, but I'm going to end the video off by saying this. I think... Okay, let me look at this. I'm going to give you my division winners first. Bills win their division. Chiefs win their division. Bengals win their division. Jags win their division. So those are your four division winners. So yeah, currently in the AFC, we have two playoff spots available. You got the Chargers, Ravens, Bengals, Chiefs, Bills. I think the Dolphins and the Jaguars stay in. The Jaguars are going to win their division, so that's that. And then it's really the Dolphins or the Jets. Dolphins or the Jets, that AFC East. We're going to make it. And for Pittsburgh, we could sneak in. But all three of those teams will have to lose. What's the chances of that? So, yeah, going to the NFC, the teams, three playoff spots available. For the clinchers, we have Dallas, one and done. We got the 49ers, Vikings, and Eagles. And the teams in the hunt, I believe Tampa Bay makes it because they're going to win that division. So let's ultimately pencil that in. And then it's your pick of Giants, Commanders, Seahawks, or Lions. I go with the I go with the Giants and the Lions. So to give you my AFC playoffs, I have the Bills, the Chiefs, the Bengals, Ravens, Chargers, Jags. And Jets. To give you my NFC. I have. The Eagles. Vikings. 49ers. Cowboys. Bucks. Giants. Lions. So there you have it. Those are the teams. We got some teams on the bubble. But that's who I think ultimately is going to make the playoffs. When it's all said and done. It's going to be interesting to see how this weekend pans out. Because it's the NFL. Anything can happen. So. And that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you for watching. Feel free to comment. Let me know who you think is going to make the playoffs. Why you think they're going to make the playoffs. Who do you think is the upset alert in the playoffs? Who can be the higher seed? Do you see the Lions coming in here and beating somebody if they make the playoffs? Do you see the Jets coming in here and beating somebody if they make, if they make the playoffs? Do you see Tua returning and making a debut in the playoffs? Do you see any of those possible scenarios panning out? Don't forget to subscribe. We out.